Hey guys, welcome to Action G News. I'm Gabby Chamberlain. And I'm Gus Cuttage. Today we have a fantastic report on esports by G News correspondent Harrison. The Gretna Esports Overwatch team won state last semester. So I wanted to ask around about what the esports team is and how they've been doing this year, as well as what makes them stand out among their competition. The Gretna Esports team has had a really accomplished year already, and we're only about halfway through. Um, so to start off with, last semester, um, our Varsity Overwatch team took first place in the Central Time Zone Division, Regional Division. Um, there were about 65 different schools competing, and uh, our Varsity team took first, and our JV team took... Uh, they didn't do placements for third or fourth, but they they were in top four. I would say what gives us a, an edge over some of the other teams is that um, some of our teams have really become friends uh, over the last year or so, and so they, they practice all the time outside of school as well. I think that really helps give us a good edge. The main difference between uh, an esports team uh, and, say, a traditional sports team like basketball is that we can practice and play anywhere, whereas, um, you know, Traditional teams have to go physically be at the place with their opponents. We get to play from my classroom. Besides interviewing the coach, I also interviewed a few of the members, with the first being Braden Stastny. Um, this year I am playing Smash Ultimate Duos as well as Overwatch. This season, I hope that we can take state. I feel like we have our varsity team for Smash is the best it's been in years, and I feel like this year we actually have a chance at making it. Last year, our esports team for Overwatch won state championship and we got a trophy in last semester, so that's hanging up in the room right now. I also went to interview Mason Skolmo, a senior member of the esports team. I play uh, League of Legends for the esports team. Uh, what gives us the edge over other esports teams, I guess, is uh, for the most part, we have a uh, We've been doing it for a long time. We have a really uh, big room with a lot of different things, so there's a whole lot of stuff going on in there. So I guess we just have a lot of people who participated in it, so we have a lot more talent to go through. We've done really well recently, actually. Uh, sophomore year was kind of the year that I first joined. Before that, it was freshman year, and that was when my brother was in it, all of his friends were in it, they kind of made the groups, and uh, they did really well. It's grown dramatically, actually, because as I said, freshman year, uh, it was just my brother and his like four friends, and then like one other team. But over the last four years, it's grown to be like 50, 60 people who are all in their own individual sectors. There's like Mario Kart, there's Smash Bros, stuff like that. Uh, I guess some of it is picking out who goes past tryouts, who gets into varsity, who gets into junior varsity, stuff like that. With the interviews over, it seems as if the Gretna esports team has a very promising future with many more accomplishments to be on the lookout for. That sure was an interesting story. Thanks, Harrison. The Overwatch team competed at Nationals this week. Huge accomplishment. Congrats to the squad. Yeah, totally. Anyway, here's weather forecast for Freed. We got a day looking like a high of 80, an afternoon gust of 31 miles an hour. Keep your hats on. Thanks for the weather, Reed. Only eight days left to school on the senior countdown clock. We're almost free, seniors. Drink these last few days in. They'll go by in a snap. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching, Dragons. And remember, pugs not drugs.